Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Sticker Mule acrylic keychains. I know there were several people who were curious of their quality and at $9 for 10 the deal was too good to pass up so I went ahead and got them just to see what they're like. I haven't opened this to figure out what they look like just yet so we'll do that together. I'll also show off the acrylic pens that I have as well as the stickers. I have the holographic, the normal vinyl, and the clear varieties. So I'll show those off so that way you can see if that's something that you would like to get. Now, quick disclaimer, Sticker Mule does support a lot of things that a lot of people won't support. But a lot of their sales are also too good to pass up. So it just depends on how you feel too, if you want to try them out or not. I personally only buy for them when they're having sales because a lot of those sales are way too good to pass up, especially during the pandemic times when we're all low on money. I don't support a lot of the things that they do, but there's always the theory that there is no ethical consumption under capitalism. Sometimes you will have to buy from someone whose values you don't support. So that's just something to be aware of so you can make the best buying decision for you. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. There we go. And all right, that looks like everything. Whenever you buy from Sticker Mule, they always have the sticker of their little uh, mule character as well as this. And these also kind of show off the stickers to the vinyl ones. And they usually have a coaster, so that way you can also kind of see how these coasters work, if that's something you want to get. I personally have never got their coasters. I, I don't really feel like that's a product that would really benefit my business, so I haven't tried those out. But the coasters that I have used from them, because, I mean, sometimes I'll have a drink and I'll just use the coaster because it's right there. They've held up. Like, sometimes they will distort the image a little bit, but they do work perfectly fine. They're not going to leak through your desk. So let's open these keychains. They came in a bag like this all together. Now one thing, when you get acrylic keychains from anywhere, they're gonna have the film on them. Now um, these don't have it on the back, but um, if you buy from like Chili Pig or Zap Creatives, they will have the film on both sides to protect both sides. I personally prefer the double-sided ones. I got a lot of those from Chili Pig of the Little Charms, but your mileage may vary. Now these are the two inch by two inch variety, I believe. I think this one is a little bit bigger. Yeah, the image is two inch by two inch, but the rest of this is a little bit bigger. You can tell because my squares are one inch by one inch square. So this is what it looks like. Oh, that is an interesting little keychain attachment right there. It's um pushed through like this and it's it's very interesting. Most of the keychains I see have like the chain, like my uh, jellyfish plush. So um, we'll get to that side in a moment. I will go ahead and take the wrapping off of this one. Let's see. Yep, that came off just nicely. I wish I had a um, the little acrylic charms that I got before to show off with this, but I lost my keys. I just cannot find them. They're in the house somewhere. But with this image, it's a little bit lighter than um, the normal image that I have on these. So it kind of came out really light, but that's okay because on mine, it really doesn't matter what color the jellyfish is. For yours, it might matter. So it looks like it's just a little bit lighter than the um, than the art that I gave them. So it looks just fine. We will quickly inspect all of them. I know with my um, acrylic pens that I received, there was one that had a chip on the back. So these are all good so far. Yep. Yep. So far, so good. The scratches seem to only be on that film. 
this one seems to have a little bit of a marring right there. But that might just be some hair. We'll check. It's definitely not showing through on the other side, which is good. So far, so good. So far, so good. And good. There's just some minky that's been on my desk. So none of these are damaged. They're all good. They're all in sellable condition, which I've heard from a lot of people's experience isn't always the case, especially with the pens. Like I said, one of my pens was not in sellable condition. It had a chip on it that showed through the other side. And that's the one downside with theirs. Now, with the way Sticker Mule makes their acrylics, some will do two layers of acrylics with the image in the middle, and then that's when you can do double-sided images. They just have the white, and the white is exposed to the elements. Now, with enamel pens, or not enamel pens, so the acrylic pens, it's not so much an issue because... It's, it's an issue, but it's not as much of one because this is against, like, the pin board or your shirt or your lanyard or whatever. So this isn't going to be exposed to anything. But with keychains, this is absolutely going to be exposed to wear and use. So if you get these, be aware, these are not sealed. This is just flat, ready to go. I know there was one of these that had the little damage that I showed you that thankfully did not show through to the other side. There it is. You can kind of see it's right there. It thankfully doesn't show through to the other side, but this is a, this is a, one of the dangers that can happen with it, with repeated, like, banging everything. Especially since they don't package this side when they ship them, which is something that I would like to see change in the future if they're going to continue not sealing the back versus just throwing them all in the baggie together. The image is nice and clear, the acrylic is nice, but one thing you will have to do with this is you'll have to seal it. Now, some people will say to use nail polish, but that will eventually discolor and chip over time. It's a quick fix, but for something you want to sell that's not ideal, you'll want to use something like a clear resin or other things. Um, you'll have to do research. I should have written those down, but... There's a bunch of different options you can use to seal the back yourself, so that way it's not going to have the damage to it. So that's one thing to note, is that even though the price is cheap, like it's $9 for 10 so you're basically getting these for a dollar each and one free, this back right here is going to be an issue that you'll have to resolve before selling these. Now, because it's not a double-sided image, you also won't be able to charge as much as if it was a double-sided image. So that's something to also keep in mind and why I would not buy these outside of like a special or a deal. So my assessment of these is they are perfectly fine if you just want to like advertise something but not sell these. Absolutely, this is a great service to use. But if you're actually going to be selling these, you'll either want to seek out another service like Chili Pig or Zap Creatives that will be able to give you a sturdier, better product. Or you'll want to look into sealing this and charging less and only buying them when they're on sale. So that is my review of these guys. Now this right here is an interesting contraption. It's not the normal chains. So I don't actually know how well that'll do. It's not hard plastic either. You can see it's squishy. I'm squishing it. So it'll be interesting to see. I'll be putting this one on my keys to see how it stands up so I can kind of judge how it will take abuse and everything. Another reason why I'm glad these were so cheap. So I'm going to set these aside for right now and be individually bagging them for storage because I don't want them to knock together until I can seal them. And we will look at some of the other sticker meal products that I have. So I have them and this right here, these were on sale at Michael's. Very nice, very nice containers. They go on sale repeat, um, from time to time. And they are great for storing different things. So I'm going to grab out the ones that we'll need to look at. Let's see. I'll grab that out. Yeah. 
that guy, and this guy. All right, so first I'm going to show off the acrylic pens. These I haven't sealed yet either. And I found the one that has damage, so I can show you what that looks like as well. I sealed this one up. So that way it would super not get damaged anymore, but educational purposes and all. Now these, I don't remember which one I took out of the packaging, so it'll still have the film on it. So here are the acrylic pens. These ones are a little over an inch. I believe they were supposed to be an inch square. And so here they are. I got my axolotl design. And you can kind of see here. Yeah, it's not going to focus super well. But the image is a little blurry, like the ink around their mouths and a little grainy. That is not an issue I noticed on the jellyfish. So it could be just because these are smaller. These are also not sealed or anything. And the pens that they use are not the best quality either. Again, these were super cheap on sale. So if you're getting at the sale price, it's not so bad. But if you're going to be getting this to like sell at the normal price, I don't recommend it. I would just recommend saving up to do enamel pens. But yeah, this is not the best quality. It's, um... I don't know, it feels flimsy. I'm sure it's fine, but it's not the quality I'm used to with enamel pins that have the pin in there. And you can kind of see it's just glued right on top. So, yeah, these are not going to be the sturdiest, but because they're against something, it's going to be definitely sturdier than the keychain. But yes, you can kind of see right here in his tail where it's reflecting through to the other side, he has a damage. Right there, you can see where the white has worn away, and you can totally see through it. So, this is an issue that you're going to face with these. And this was just from delivery, and I was lucky enough that I only had one damaged. I've seen some people where they've all come damaged. These I ended up having 20 of because of the special that was going on. So that's why I have so many of these guys. Get in there. There we go. I'll bag him up again later. And now we have the stickers. They're stickers I have always found to be really good quality. I've used two different sticker printing services. There's one that's local, and then there's these. Um, there's a lot of different nice sticker printing services like bunnies and cream is one that i highly recommend and um i believe skiggles their shop does sticker printing services and they do a really good job too so these stickers <laughs> this one is a little damaged right here i believe no it's just stuff that's on it so you can see these stickers are vinyl UV resistant and waterproof, which means that they're safe to go on like water bottles or your car or something like that. The sun is going to make them fade a lot slower than like typical bumper stickers. And um, they're waterproof so you can get them wet and it's not going to damage them. And because they're vinyl, they're a little sturdier. Now when I get these stickers is when they go 50 for $20 because it's a really good deal. When um, you first do Sticker Mule, they'll have a few where you can get 10 for a dollar, um, shipping included with all these prices, and that was a really good deal. So I usually take advantage, like I said, of those discounts, especially during the pandemic, just because I low on funds just like everyone else's, sadly. And here is the holographic sticker. Now with the holographic sticker, if I can get it out. There we go. Now with the holographic sticker, it's um not quite the same as the um these guys right here. They are still the vinyl and they're still um UV resistant and waterproof. 
but the images can sometimes be a little muddier, a little duller. There's a few that I have, um, the green jellyfish and a, a whale shark that don't show up as clearly. Luckily, this one has thick black lines, but it has a light blue color that's supposed to be there, and you can kind of see it's not particularly showing up. So these are good for characters if it's just a black outline or the color doesn't matter too much because the color isn't going to show up very well on these. Are the design that I got made in a clear. These are not the clear ones. These are again the same white vinyl. I was not a big fan of the clear so I immediately got these in a white color as soon as I was able to. But I actually have a clear one example over here. And you can see it's clear around the edges. It's a thicker um, like vinyl, so it's going to show the clear there, but you can still kind of see through it and everything. The print job on those is fine. I don't think it's quite as stand out as the um, vinyl, but it works just fine. This right here is a sticker that came on a shirt that said you need to wash it because it might smell like the chemicals from the factory. I just thought it was funny, so it's on my machine. But yeah, this one right here is still the waterproof vinyl, UV resistant, everything like that. You can see here is one that I've had on here forever, starting to get a little dustier on the edges from all the fabric dust that I have around, but it's held up just fine. This has traveled to a few cons. One thing you can see here is you can kind of see the color from the back through it, but that happens with a lot of stickers. And then over here, is the holographic one. This one has gotten a little damage right in this area, but it still looks fine. You can see it's sparkly and everything. So that is my quick review of all the Sticker Mule products. I hope this will be helpful to you if you're considering getting from Sticker Mule. So, like I said, it's up to you if this is a business that you would like to support it's up to you if you want to take advantage of those discounts. I've also tried to give several different alternatives to places you can go and buy things from. Enamel pin providers, as I, um, I mentioned enamel pins earlier, you're best going to different enamel pin groups on like Facebook to learn more about those because quality and everything can vary so much. One thing with enamel pins versus like sticker mule where you put the image in and you can get the acrylic pin real quick, is that you're dealing with a factory who's making the enamel pins. So it's a little bit more involved. So it's going to take a little bit more work, but it's gonna be absolutely rewarding. So hopefully this has helped you guys. And if you have any more questions or need me to review any more products like this, just let me know. I have tried several different places to get different products. So I have lots of different experiences with a lot of different places. Take care, guys, and have a great day.